It's Deborah Lindsay. Mm -hmm. um, I work out of the Beaver Falls office. Nice. And you are a DCW or PCA? PCA. PCA. Nice. Okay. Why did you become a direct care worker, which in your case, a PCA? Um, well, a friend of mine worked here um, years ago and um, the job that I had been working ended and I was looking for something and she thought I'd be a good fit. Um, I've never done uh, personal care work before really. I've worked in child care and um, lots of other things, but um, so it was new, but. Nice. And what's the best thing about your job? Uh, the best thing about my job is knowing that um, I'm helping people. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm meeting interesting people with amazing life stories and um, there's a need and I can meet it and I can do that for somebody. Mm -hmm. So That's good. Okay, can you remember a time or a place that made you want to become a PCA or somebody in your life that made you push you into the right direction of that or somebody you helped out when you were younger? It could have been like your parents, your grandparents, or even a friend. Or do you just like helping people? I do. I really like okay. I like people. Mm -hmm. I like being able to be helpful, um, doing something that makes a difference for somebody else. Um, like I said, I, I didn't, it wasn't something that I, I looked into going into or mm -hmm. wanted to do, um, something that was kind of just like, hey, this is something you might want to try, and I've been here 13 years. And so it came to you. Yeah, and, and, it, and it, you, it honestly just seems like a perfect fit. It seems yeah. like I remember thinking when I first started, wow, this is something that everything else in my life has prepared me to do. Yeah. Every other job I had, other life experience of experiences have it prepared me Aww. to do this job and I love it and what kind of things did it you said it, it prepared you so what kind of other jobs before did you have that um, helped you prepare to be a PCA? well something as simple as um, I work cleaning houses okay. so I know how to clean yes, a lot of these yeah. a lot of places you, you clean for people mm -hmm. um, during this um, I worked in child care so um, I've done a lot of um, personal care for children and things like that and, and that's helped me um, just being around um, older people or um, sometimes people with disabilities um, has helped me to um, just see people as people, mm -hmm. not see. And that's good. This, this, something like this is, is not as much a job as it is a calling. Yeah, that that's good. sound kind of corny, <laughs> but really. No, it's good. Um, so do you ever have bad days with consumers? And what do you do to try to like de-stress the situation? Um, in 13 years, I haven't had a lot of bad days. Um, That's good. <laughs> um, I've had some consumers who have had um, maybe just said some mean things or, or things like that. Um, and you have to just realize that you know you have no idea what their day is like, what their life's like. You have no idea how you would react mm -hmm. if you were going through what they were going through. Um, so just being kind, just asking what can I do to help, mm -hmm. um, being respectful. Um, and it diffuses, usually always diffuses the situation. And um, Yeah. And do you like try to um, see what they're, well, what kind of situation they're in that day? Do you talk to them about it? Do you try to figure out, hey, what can we do to make your day a little better? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> ask like, is there something that's, that's bothering you or something mm -hmm. that's going on? Um, is there something I can do to help? Yeah. And if so, then do it. I liked how you said that it can be something else, but they're bringing it out on this situation. Just like with anybody. Somebody yeah. cuts you off in traffic, somebody treats you rudely at, at the counter somewhere. Mm -hmm. You have no idea what they've been through that day right. or what they're dealing with. Um, so there's no reason to ever be harsh back. Yeah. yeah. That's a good answer. Um, what do you do to make the consumer feel included in their daily work? Um, I would say um, asking them what they want done, how mm -hmm. they want it done, and listening. Mm -hmm. A big part of this job is just listening. Um, you know, I'm not there to, to so much to talk about myself. I'm there to listen to them and mm -hmm. know what they want and so that I can do it the way they want it done, not just go in and say, okay, this is the way I'm doing it because... Right. Um, it's easier or so, it's quicker. Yeah, but, so mm -hmm. I'd say the biggest thing would be asking them and then um, if there's something that, that, I mean, so many times people want to be involved, want to help, mm -hmm. want to do something, want to feel um, like they're they're contributing. Um, 
and we need to let you know we need to not always be like okay i'm gonna do this for you and i'm gonna yeah. do this if someone and, can do something and they want to yeah. and it's very important to let them do Mm-hmm. what they can you can always make suggestions about how to do or things. explain maybe why okay this might be this the, might the not more, work. The better yeah. way to do it or this might be but still if this is what yeah done, if this okay. all right now has COVID-19 affected your job um in some ways yes in some ways no and uh, no in that um I haven't lost any work I haven't had to not be at work um and you know we're, we always practice universal precautions so we're always washing hands you know all, all PCAs and um, so just you know wearing a mask and just being extra careful doing extra cleaning mm-hmm. um, I would say that's and the companies you know, provided you with that safety measures um, gloves uh, they have ex- yes yeah, gloves, always, hand, um, gloves hand and hand sanitizer okay. yeah okay good good <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Um, what? Okay. How about this one? This should um, be a a better question. What are your hopes for your consumers? I would say um, I would hope that they would feel safe and comfortable having CRI come in to their home to help them with their you know daily activities and getting ready for the day. Um, I would hope that they would always feel. Um, that we treated them with dignity and respect mm-hmm. um, and I like those answers. they would um, just be able to to live their lives as independently as possible um, What's the most challenging thing about your job that you think challenging um, you know there's there's so much that we can do um and so much that we do for our consumers but there are just some things that we can't we can't heal things we can't make some situations better um uh, we can't stop the inevitable right so um i would say the hardest part is is that Mm. all right and how long have you been working for cri and what do you enjoy the most about the company um, I've been here 13 years this this month. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and you mean about the company itself, or, or the working job? for the company, or the job in um, general? You know what? I'll answer both. Uh, okay. The company, um, the the staff is wonderful. There's so many wonderful people. Um, very helpful. Um, you know, know how to do their job and do it well. Um, I. I love the fact of, of what CRI is, um, something that that keeps people able to stay at their home as long as possible so that they don't have to go into a nursing home. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, those are things that I love about the company and about the job. Um, I, I love the people that I've met um, with just incredible courage and perseverance and patience. and. Um, some incredible life stories and some uh, incredible faith. Um, I, I love that. Mm-hmm. I love that. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm in awe of of these people that I work for, and um, and I'm just truly humbled by being able to be a part of their life in some way. Aww. you sound so sweet. Um, I really want to thank you for coming out today and talking to me, and thank you so much.